Hey, Gemini, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. All right, guys, this is going to be your weekly reading. And as always, this reading really can resonate any day, week, month, year, anytime you're guided to see it. Whenever you're guided is when you were probably meant to see it. Let's um, talk about Gemini. It's for Gemini. It's for anyone with Gemini placements, but it's also for anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading for whatever reason. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this Gemini weekly reading for whenever anyone is guided, any day, week, month, year, any time for Gemini, anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see it. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? What do we need to know here? Gemini reading. Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and please allow me to deliver the most accurate messages possible to the people who need them the most. Gemini reading, one more shuffle. All right, let's do it. Gemini, what do we need to know here for anyone who's guided to see the Gemini reading? King of Swords reverse. So if you're a masculine Gemini, you are not happy. Somebody else had the world in the same exact spot, I believe. I don't remember who I wish I did. Tell me what I need to know here, please. Gemini reading. So, if you're a Gemini masculine, you are not happy. If you're dealing with a Gemini masculine, if you're a feminine watching this, whew, he could be, something's going on with him. He could have lied, or he could be a liar, or he could be not happy. You got the hangman in reverse. What else do we need to know here? So we could go, he could also be unclear about something and getting gaining clarity. We have the strength card. What else? Gemini reading. We have the magician. What else? And we have the, whoa, knight of swords reversed. Okay, Gemini is so mad right now, or they're not seeing something clearly, or they're not speaking to someone. Uh, knight of swords and king of swords both of them all right so we have the world here so something's going to come to fruition something's going to close out a new cycle is going to begin strength card we have the magician we also have the hanged man and it came out reversed so someone's already put themselves in an uncomfortable position and now they're already getting enlightened about this all right, so if this is a lack of clarity, you're now going to see something clearly, I feel. Eight of Cups and the Sun. I'm just looking back here to see. Yes, yeah, so someone might have to have a, be Someone might be making a decision about love. You know, because we have this back here, the Six of Pentacles reversed, but we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords reversed. We might have someone who's trying to balance something out, could try to be making a decision about love. We have the Sun card and the Strength card. Leo has been coming through in several of the readings. Um, I believe Libra had a lot of Leo in their reading too. And right on top of that Sun, we have the Eight of cups someone um leaving the emotional stuff this feels good to me though to have the eight of cups and the sun together like this i feel this transformation see all the butterflies here and this beauty that blossoms when somebody detaches from something that's been very emotional all right let's find out we need to get right into this reading we're, oh i'm so sorry this was the crystal vision deck and we're using the tara mocha all right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading for anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading? What do we need to know about it? What are the messages we have for the people that need them the most? Gemini reading for anyone who's guided to see it, whenever they're guided to see it, doesn't really matter when, doesn't really matter who. I feel as though when you're guided, you're guided. What do we need to know about this reading? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to clarify this reading as accurately as possible for the people that need the messages the most. Please allow me to deliver what they need. Okay, I feel one more shuffle and then we're gonna go with it. All right. 
So first of all, I want to know why that King of Swords is reversed. What's up here? Wow, Nine of Cups reversed. Very disappointed. So Gemini, I feel like you're very disappointed about something. How about the Knight of Swords reversed? What do we need to know here? Oh my gosh, King of Cups. All right, so... Gemini's not happy. King of Cups looks happy. What's going on? What about King of Cups? Why is, now this probably, you know, could be you as well. Why is the King of Cups here? Why? I don't, I feel like you're butting heads with this person or something. Um, wow, because someone decided to walk away. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Eight of Cups again. The same Eight of Cups we have here, only it's reversed. So... Someone's upset about this. I, th I feel like this King of Cups walked away. And this has been really upsetting for Gemini. Yeah, look, they feel left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about, um, tell me more about the world. Tell me why the world's here. Now, could this all be vice versa? It could be. Okay, so... But however it works for you guys. Tell me about the world. What do we need to know? I'm going to put that back only because a bunch of others flipped in. Truthfully, I was zoning off again over here for some reason. Um, somebody's very disappointed here and I keep getting pulled to that. Tell me about the world. We only want one or two cards and I'm going to focus on what, what's happening with the cycle here with the world. Is something transforming, ending, what? Okay, absolutely. So we've got here again, King of Swords reversed. I can't even. King of Swords is reversed, but we have lovers in the upright and that's you, Gemini, and a new beginning. So the truth is King of Swords could be someone else. An Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini could be anyone, even could be a Capricorn. Oh, could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio as well. Could be anyone, but they're not happy about something that happened here. I feel like you walked away from something or you cut contact or something here on this person. But you're going for some new beginning. Like you're going to honor a new beginning. This is you. Lovers, Ace of Cups. It's Gemini going into a new beginning world, closing out an old cycle with the King of Swords. Whoever this King of Swords is, I feel like you're closing out this old cycle. Could they be the ones who chose to do this? Yeah, but um, I really feel like it's you. And another five at the bottom again in the reverse, five of cups. So you're going to get past this disappointment or they are. Tell me about the hangman. The hangman has really been enlightened here. The hangman's in reverse. What do we need to know? So the hangman's already had time to look at this. This hangman could be your energy or someone else's. Um, like I said, could be Pisces you're dealing with. Tell me about the hangman reverse. What do we need to know about it for the Gemini reading? Okay, yeah. You already know that ending the old cycle is the way to go. Whoever has been in this hangman position, I really feel like it's you, has decided it is time to allow an old chapter to end, even if this person is not happy with my choice. Tell me about strength. It's probably taken a lot of strength to do this. Tell me about strength. Yeah. It's time for me, a uh, Ten of Wands, to dump the burdens that came out reversed. The strength to leave it behind. The strength to walk away. The strength to end the cycle. This strength will help you end these burdens. And there's a new beginning that's perfect for you. You're going to love it. It's Ace of Cups. It doesn't have to be love, but it's for Gemini. It's a brand new beginning. And I can't even make this up if I tried. We have the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune that just came out. You know. You already know that when you end the cycle, you intuitively know this is where your happiness lies by ending the cycle, by making a decision to a pentacles to allow that cycle to end. You've been tapping into your intuition. You know that making a choice to hang on to this is going to keep you unhappy here. And um, the choice to release it is what you already you already know you're working with the universe you got the magician and the high priestess and and the um 
the wheel of fortune here you are at an ending everywhere everywhere i look you're at a nine you're at a ten you're at a ten you're at the world uh you're at the world and you're already blossoming into an ace here so that's the new beginning coming in every single place i look the choice to walk away from something is where your happiness lies and you intuitively know this I don't know exactly what this is, Gemini, so please do chime in. Because of the fact that Gemini is represented by the lover's card, I don't know for sure if this is a love reading or if this is something else that you're being called to walk away from because of the fact that it's going to bring happiness. The Ace of Cups for me isn't always love. Sometimes it's just joy and happiness and a brand new cycle and a brand new beginning. And the decision to go for what's new is what's needed here. This is a decision to go for what's new. It would constitute leaving behind something that you held on to for far too long. And to walk away and into that sunlight there. Walk away and start something brand new. Let it transform. Everywhere I look, your entire reading said it's time to leave behind something. It's time to walk into something new. I do feel like there's somebody here who won't be happy with your decision. This is a King of Cups. It's going to be an Aquarius Libra or another Gemini. Um, or it's you. Maybe you're upset because someone's doing this to you. Okay, but, but it is the right thing. I have to say that. So whichever way this goes, whether you're the one doing it or they're the one doing it, your happiness comes in with the new beginning. I hope that makes sense. The new cycle is where your happiness lies, regardless of which end of this you're on, okay? Because I do see, for some of you, you could be the king of um, swords that isn't happy about this. Hey, you could still be making this decision, but not be happy about it, right? Uh, but knowing it's what's best. And that's the important thing, because someone's intuition is telling them like crazy, the new cycle is where your happiness lies the new the your intuition is telling you and spirits telling you listen to us we're telling you we're trying to we have enlightened you you're getting enlightened to close out this old cycle it's been a long time coming the world twice the world twice it's going to lead you to something much happier and better and if it's love you're going to be led towards something you're very going to be very happy in it, no matter what it is you're getting led towards a way way better situation all right guys um, let me grab you a couple of angel cards and then I'm going to let you go. Please do not forget to hit that like. I appreciate you guys so much. It helps the channel a lot more than people realize to take that extra second to hit that like. Thank you guys so, so much. Appreciate you. Um, also, comment down below. I'd love to exchange energy with you. And if this is your new beginning coming, good luck, guys. I, you're going to love it. You really are. You just got to have the strength to get past this little one last step, right? To get you out of this old cycle. What do we need to know here for Gemini? Spontaneity, compassion, sisterhood, brotherhood. I'm telling you, you're heading towards, let me get one more. You're heading towards something balanced. Absolutely balanced you're gonna head towards listen it might feel like you suddenly finally bust this move but this has been coming on a long time it's gotten to the world multiple times and the wheel of fortune this has been something you were supposed to do before but you're suddenly going to be like you know what i gotta do this um it's going to lead you towards this compassion sisterhood brotherhood and balance you i swear you're going to love the new cycle you're going to love it. It was just getting past the old cycle that was the difficult part. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I really do like this reading. I think it shows a lot of just that last step. And if you have the courage to take that last step, it shows how your life is just going to transform in the best of ways. Okay, guys, have a great week. Um, talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.